is Anderson Penn's podcast, episode 225 for Wednesday, April 19th, 2017. This is Brian. This is Lisa. That's cool. 225. <laughs> I think it's time for another break. <laughs> <laughs> How about in the car? <clears throat> Ooh, new Sirius XM music on the way down. That'll be fun. Where? You ask? We are going to the Atlanta Pet Show. <laughs> Look, we're tired. Give us a break. <laughs> we leave today for the Atlanta Pen Show. And yes, it's Wednesday, which is earlier than we normally leave. But we have a very mm-hmm. special pit stop schedule. We we're are staying at a hotel. I know. Isn't that so cool? We're staying in um, Bowling Green, Kentucky, in an actual hotel, not a rest stop. That's like a huge upgrade for us. And then tomorrow morning, first thing, we are going to the National Corvette Museum, where Brian is going to drool over everything, and they will have a staff member walking behind him with a polished cloth. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it's not that far no, from the truth. It's, no, it's, it's cool. Um, you know, if you, if you haven't been there and you like cars, whether you're a Corvette guy, a gal, or not, um, it's, it's, it's a neat museum. Um, the only one of it, it's kind in the United States. With a big sinkhole. Uh, with a big sinkhole, and the sinkhole <laughs> thing is cool. It is. It is. They <coughs> you know. taped it off. It's been filled in, um, but they taped it off so you can see just how giant that thing was. Yeah, it was they, pretty they, crazy. they make no bones about the fact that that disaster increased their viewership by magnitudes. Absolutely. So, but uh, Like the New York Times. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so, so we're going to be there tomorrow morning. If we're there's excited any, uh, about that. Any Corvette people that are going to be in the area, let's meet at the meet at the museum first thing tomorrow. NCM. Yeah, the NCM, yeah. Well, fortified with coffee mm-hmm. and breakfast. and um, Where is the breakfast place we go? Don't, isn't there a place we go to? I can never remember. I think we eat at the hotel. Oh. We could find a better breakfast we, place. We, we should. Uh, so anyway, we're going to do breakfast, do the museum, and then uh, get back in the car. And I think it's like five or six hours from uh, Bowling Green to Atlanta um, to get to the show. We'll get in Thursday late afternoon. Um, we should be able to at least unload the car into the ballroom, which is such a huge help. And then uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, massive, awesome show. Yeah, we'll, we'll set up... Um and uh, it's it's going to be fun. It's it's always a good show. There's always uh, some interesting people. And a barbecue. And a barbecue. And, and a barbecue is not to be missed. And the big secret with the barbecue is is do not wait. Yes. Don't say, "Well, I'll go." You have to go. You got to find out what time it is because it's kind of it's not always on the form. Or as public as it. As public as it. Well, and it's full. maybe that's intentional. Well, yeah. I mean, could be. But if you're going and you're a weekend trader, I think you're entitled to, to the to the barbecue and yeah. uh, get there early because it's, it's uh, it, the line is like literally out the patio and uh, it's big. It's big, big. line. Yeah, it's 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 good stuff. So we're excited about that. Uh, we get to see Hugh and Carol will be there, right? Yes, they will be there. They're flying in. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Just uh, just spoke with them yesterday. Mike and Audrey will be there. It's oh, like good. a big family reunion. Yep. yep. Love it. In. Jimmy and his family put on an amazing show. Uh, Suzanne just got engaged. I can't wait to see uh, see the ring and see if... She'll be all aglow. She always is. And uh, is uh, Mike Masayama going to be there so. this year? I think so. He's usually he's like literally right around the corner from us. We hardly ever get around we, to we can, go see him. Yeah, so. um, I hope Mike and Amiko are there. That'll be great. Yeah, they said last year they weren't going to... I'm going to do it, but... Uh, oh, Mike, Mike, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm thinking of uh, the folks behind us. Mike and Mimi, I'm going Mike to miss Mimi, her baking. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. So. Um, but, uh, no, it's a it's a good show. They've been doing this for, what, 20 years, pushing that? Yeah, so I usually they're... get in trouble at this show. It's been a while. I, I've been well-behaved at the last several shows. Mm-hmm. What does um, this mean? You're going to escape and go shopping? I might. I don't think so. We'll see. Uh, but uh, I don't know what else to say. It's a good show. Uh, we love the drive down because it is um, good weather and um, the more uh, the further south you go, the greener everything gets. And then uh, we know that by the time we get back home from the show, um, 
it's uh, almost time to take the storms off the windows. Yep. Put the screens up. I'm excited. It'll be be 80s in Atlanta. Uh, it's a good mid-sized show, so if, if you've never been to a pen show and you're wondering, should I go to a show, the answer is always yes, regardless of the size of the show. But uh, this is a really great show. So, mm -hmm. um, And we'll be, uh, let's see, what's new that we're going to have with us? We'll be well-stocked with uh, Robert Oster, uh, Inc., well-stocked with Ackerman, Inc., um, we always have, you know, Diamine and Noodlers, uh, lots of Sailor Inc. New Mont Blanc um, Shakespeare. Yep, lots Miles of that. Miles Davis, Lucky Orange, all the new Mont Blanc inks. And then uh, lots of cool new uh, new pens. The new, I'm going to skip around, the new Retro 51 Slim Colors. Um, it just came out. These are cool. I personally like the slim size. It fits my hand. That's not it. You're jumping around. I am. <laughs> it fits my hand a little bit better. Um, and so uh, they've got three new colors. The Moonstone is this really cool kind of a, it's not shimmery, but it's. No, it's, it's a satin. It's kind of a satin charcoal with uh, satin silver trim. I really like that. Um, the Lavender is really pretty. Uh, similar to, um, is it similar to the Decimo, do you think? The Lavender yeah, Decimo? Yeah, it's probably close. The Pilot probably Decimo. Close. But pretty. again, it's a, it's a matte, just satin finish. It's pretty. You know. And then this is, I think, the probably the prettiest of the three, the Aquamarine. Um, I know Kim bought this for a friend. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you always get Kim in trouble. <laughs> this one is gorgeous. I think I have to have one. Well, Ooh, Mother's Day is you coming never, up. yes, Mother's Day is coming. Up. Uh, you never know how long Retro is going to keep these pens. Uh, some pens they have had for years that you, you just, you know, some of them are crazy patterns and you, you can't believe. Uh, and then they'll have pens like the previous generation Slim, which was just really outstanding. And they discontinued the best looking one in the ocean. All three of them are done. Are they? They're all done, yep. Okay. So, and then you replace them with these, and these are nice too, but you just never know with, with retro what's going to stick around. And yep. so you kind of have to, if it's something that trips your trigger, you, you got to get Pull the it. trigger. Yes, you got to pull the trigger, <laughs> yep. So. All right. All right, where are we jumping around to next? Let's go you gotta, to You got to give me some warning here. I know. I like to keep you <laughs> on your toes. <laughs> Uh, nice, uh, nice shipment. Finally, twelve months later, which we knew, uh, which we knew was going to happen. Uh, Bespoke Sailor arrived uh, last Monday, and it's almost all gone. And yeah, good percentage is gone. There's there's a few pieces left, um, and it's our last shipment for a couple of months. And as some of you are aware, the Naganata Togis and the Saibi Togis have been. Uh, uh, we have been ceased the opportunity to order them until they can get uh, production back up to uh, to snuff uh, with estimated availability for us to order late summer next year, which means if they continue with their previous 60 to 90 days is what they used to be. Uh, if we can order next year, we're not going to get any more until late fall, December even. Uh, of 2018 so grab it now these came in and amongst them we have um two 1911 standard models and these are available with rhodium trim and the 1911 standard with naganata togi nymphs have been discontinued uh completely they use a smaller size 21 carat not the regular 14 carat nib for these pens um but it's it's extra work uh for sailors so they've decided more people buy the larger size, so they're, they're going to stop making these. Unfortunately, it also means they do not make this maroon with rhodium trim pen. Which is really pretty. Which is really outstanding with a regular nib. I know. I, we have one left. We have one left with a <sighs> Naganata Togi broad. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, can we have um, Mike grind it down? Smaller? Yeah, that's that's uh. he would, Mike would not do that to an Aganata Togi, but no. um, so unfortunately, and I've asked, they these pens are not available with standard nibs, uh, they're bespoke only, they're Naganata Togi only. 
uh, maroon with rhodium, and then there also is black with rhodium in the 1911 standard size. Really an outstanding uh, outstanding combination. I wish they would make it in a regular series, but they don't. So alas, there they are. Those, uh, we have talked about these guys before. 1911 large uh, transparents. We have them in gold as well as rhodium trim. The, uh, the maroons have sold out. But, uh, and uh, these, this batch came with the standard um, uh, silver converter, not the gold converter that sometimes comes with it that you can't purchase separately. So uh, we took new pictures, but uh, nice looking pen. I have one of these. Um, there's the, the transparent gold trim is special order to begin with and with a Naganata Togi nib, awesome. Uh, and then last but certainly not least. Oh my God! I um, need to count these and make sure that we have. Well, some there's left. only there's only there's only two of these left. Did they go into your pocket? Uh, not yet. Okay. Um, Sailor Ebonite King of Pen. Uh, we have rhodium trim. We have one left, and I think what is maybe in my opinion the better looking pen, but it's hard to say. They all they both look good. Is that also comes in. Gold trim. So we have one of each each of these left uh, in stock. And I really like... Have you pulled any secretly aside for you? No, or? I have such okay. a uh, stupid large pile of pens here. I can't, I can't get too greedy, so... Ooh, I have that on video. <laughs> I quoted you. <laughs> you wait till next year. No. Um, you can't get them. I will. I can. <laughs> we can get this with a regular nip. We can order oh, this okay. with a regular nip. All right. Um, anyway, I, I really like the look of the ebonite, the clean look. There's no trim bands. There's no cap band. There's no trim ring on the end of the barrel. Um, very, very clean finish. There's no tr trim ring at the top of uh, the clip. It's inserted into the, into the cap. It's really a, a nice, nice, clean look. Um, Super looking pen, so. If, if I can ask some of you a huge favor, please buy it so that Brian doesn't <laughs> add it to his stash. I think we're pretty well set through... I don't know. <laughs> several gift-giving events. I think I think maybe we're going to have to double up. I don't I, know. I, I don't think know. we're done up until next, next one's coming November. up. November. Not soon enough. Yeah. Anyway, Bespoke Sailor, um, if it's something you've been waffling on... Uh, there's not a whole lot more chances to get these. Um, so um, we will have them in Atlanta. Come talk to me. Uh, be happy to, to, to go over the options with you. Uh, there is not a lot of, of swapping options available. So pretty much what we have is what we have with, with very little exception. Uh, what else is new this week? Let's switch over. Paper? To Hugo Boss. Which is not a name you normally associate with paper. Or with pens. Or I mean, pens. Hugo Boss has done uh, has had a line of pens for the last what is this the third year? Uh, some this nice year looking, yep. um, decently designed, uh, masculine looking pens. And this year, uh, they came out with uh, a line of paper. Some of these notebooks are really nice. They're I well really thought out. like the uh, the blue, the light blue, and the dark mm -hmm, blue. Mm -hmm. I like those a lot. Yeah, they come in uh, A5 in A6 sizes. Um, I've got the light gray up on the screen just because it's easiest to see the color, but they're they're mostly dark colors. Um, I guess it's not maroon, it's brown, isn't it? Yeah, black, bright blue, dark blue, brown, and dark gray. The dark gray is kind of cool too. And and this really, I think, is uh, competing with uh, the new Mont Blanc paper, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, we will have any day soon. Really nice quality notebooks, nice covers. They have this nice uh, elastic strap and a well thought out little kind of a, what would you call this? Not a clutch, but um, mechanism on the end of the, uh, on the side of the, the cover. I'm sure there's a technical term for it, it but is. it's uh, a metal, almost an elastic guard so that the elastic um, fits through a um, cutout a in slot. the, yeah, a slot in the um, metal trim, and that way the elastic doesn't bend or um, doesn't, mark up doesn't the, crimple uh, the up notebook. The, the, the cover, yeah. yeah. Done well. Yeah. Uh, so it's nice. And the paper, the paper's nice. We tried it we uh, when we were, we were in L.A. 
Uh, nice paper, very nice. Uh, nice Nicely looking, done. Nice looking notebooks. So. Um, and they come in A5 and A6 sizes? Yep, yep. Okay. So a bunch of different colors. Uh, those nice are stuff. Those are rolling out. Uh, very, very business-like. So yes. You, you can feel comfortable grabbing these with your suit and it doesn't look too fruity. Uh, along with that... Um, fruity? You mean floral? <laughs> fr fr fruity. <laughs> you mean like flowery and... Yeah, well, whatever, you know. You can wear, you can, you can wear it with the suit. I was looking at some Lily Pulitzer notebooks the other day, mm. and Brian was giving me a hard time. So anyway. I mean, it's uh, you know, it's it's simple. It is what it is. It is. Um, what else? Mont Blanc just came out with uh, their new 2017 uh, collaboration with UNICEF, and they've done this uh, a number of times, and so. With UNICEF or with, just different collaborations? With UNICEF, yeah, with UNICEF. Uh, so this year they have a, an, another special collection here. We have a mid-sized ballpoint. Uh, at the top of the cap, they have a nice little blue jewel in there. And then the first character that is learned by children over the world in the six most used alphabets. Oh. So you've got uh, Roman... Chinese, Arabic, Japanese, Korean, and Hindi. That's cool. Uh, around that cap band, around the jewel by the clip there. Um, but uh, so they have a special edition. They have lots of different models available. We just have, you know, just a couple um, in the standard Meisterstück uh, in the midsize, which is between the Lagrand and the Classique, the 144, 146 size, um, which has been a, a very uh, um, a very decent decent uh, model because it's uh, it's not too big it's not too small so um, and along with this will be ink so yes. UNICEF blue uh, which is coming this particular bottle will be coming in a 50 mil bottle not the standard uh, smaller square 30 mil bottle this one is bigger. Uh, and they have. And it will be it will be the square, but it'll be yes. just larger. Uh, they have priced it accordingly. This one will be a little bit more. Nice box, though. You know, mm -hmm. I'm, all, I'm all about the box. Goes to a good cause. Goes to a good cause. Um, so, that's so that's it for this week uh, for new stuff. There's always lots of new stuff coming, but um, what else we got? Well, we come back from Atlanta, we're home for a week and a half, and then Chicago, which is uh, our wedding show, so we're looking forward to that. The first year, our anniversary is actually not while we're in Chicago. I'm kind of excited about that. We can, like, go to dinner, and it's not, you know, when is with May other first? people. It's a Monday. It's a Monday. Okay. <laughs> All right. So a week from Monday, I get my, my pen. Maybe. What, what are you getting? What do you mean, maybe? You said two weeks ago. I, get, I, get I got a new purse. So you got two new purses. I got a person at business yeah, all right. I'm good. I'm set. All right. Mother's Day, I'm worried about. <laughs> Why are you worried about this? Because I don't know if you got the pen I want or not. Well, you know, it's 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 too late if I didn't get it. <laughs> too late for you. It's too late. <laughs> uh, maybe I got it. Maybe I didn't. Hmm. How long have you known me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm usually Johnny on the spot with these things. And sometimes you procrastinate. I'm just nervous. So anyway. She's nervous. I'm um, just going to leave her on the hook. Let's see yeah. what... Uh, Good thing our couch is comfortable. Uh, <laughs> no, we... Um, you know, it's really been a, a kind of a busy season. Um, usually the first couple months of the year are a little bit slower. Uh, the weather is finally really nice um, consistently. <coughs> So we're uh, enjoying our backyard a little bit more. Looking forward yep, to that. Yep. And um, I don't know. We've got uh, you know Atlanta and then Chicago, and then we're home for like three and a half weeks. I'm really excited about being home for a while. Yep. We got a couple of big projects in the work, and we keep keep teasing about them. But I mean, a big project doesn't take place overnight. So. Um, but we're we're finishing up some of those, and we'll be able to. Uh, they will be announce. Epic. It will be epic. They will. We will un announce and release some of this stuff pretty soon. Um, any other new stuff coming down the road? Down the road? Jeez, I don't know. Uh, we just heard that Visconti is coming out with a couple new uh, yeah. Rembrandt colors, so we just ordered those. Well, what's interesting is the purple, which was discontinued, is now a new color. 
Hmm. How's that work? <laughs> I don't know. I always thought the purple was the best color in the Rembrandt. Well, maybe that's why they brought it back. And maybe they brought it back. There is a there. There's some nice colors. Uh, there is a back to black. Um, there is a white, which really looks a lot like um, the Venus. And um, let's see, what else do we have? Uh, let me look at the. Um, and then there's a, a light blue, which is nice, but uh, and the purple, of course. But uh, two of them with dark nibs. Yeah, that'll be cool. So, um, let's see. We are. When are we scheduled to get the new set of Aurora eighty eight? Pens. The well, new, the, what's the color next? Uh, there's supposed to be one a month. Uh, the red and the blue are sold out. Uh, the yellow is the next color. Okay. Uh, there will be, I don't know the order after that, but there will be orange. There will be green. That'll be pretty. There will be brown. And there will also be two metal 88 flex. There will be a silver and there will be a gold. Now, I don't know if that silver means it's going to be Sterling, or if it's going to be, if it's sterling, it would be wicked expensive, I would imagine. Uh, or if it's going to be a steel, you know, kind of overlay. Uh, and the gold, I'm sure, is going to be gold fill, not solid gold. But um, It'll be cool. Uh, to, to date, we do, I do not believe there will be a black. So people were talking about black, but black is not on the horizon. Not that we've heard. Okay. So that's that. I guess that's about all that I've heard about. Well, we'll see. We'll see what we'll happens. Keep you, uh, you know, you never know. We come back from Atlanta. We usually buy stuff in Atlanta. So uh, I know we try not to. It's so hard. And we're hoping in Atlanta that uh, details will emerge about the yes. upcoming uh, Washington D.C. show, which is no longer at the Sheraton this year. So yes, we know for a fact that the D.C. show is not um, at the Sheraton premiere where it has been for a long time. Um, Ever since I've gone to it. Hopefully, Bob will have uh, finalized things with a new hotel, and uh, Bob Johnson, the uh, organizer of DC, uh, generally comes to Atlanta, and uh, rumor has it he'll be making an announcement, and hopefully the announcement is that it's at a new location and not that he's skipping this year. Yeah, or, you know, not... Too close to San Francisco. Yes, that would be so difficult. Uh, we'll look forward to that announcement. Hopefully this weekend. We can, we hope that. Keep your fingers crossed on that. But uh, otherwise, uh, I think uh, I think that's it for this week. We're gonna go and pack and uh, hit the road, and we will see. Uh, hopefully, see some of you folks in Atlanta uh, tomorrow evening. Tomorrow evening or Friday morning. Or Friday or morning or Saturday, Saturday morning or, or Sunday morning. Sunday. Bring coffee. So. All right. And uh, we'll see you at the show. In other words, uh, tune in next week for more Talk About Pens, Ink, and Paper. Follow the blog for news, ink reviews, and all sorts of other stuff. And you can check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. And you can follow along with Brian and I on our personal Facebook or uh, Instagram as we travel down. Me and my 12 people. <laughs> <laughs> Brian needs more Instagram followers as we uh, travel through the country. Have an awesome day, everyone. We'll see you in Atlanta.